Hey everybody, coming to you with a quarantine quickie from March 29th, 2020, on my way to work. Trying a different camera angle this time. Let me know what you think. Big, big changes here. Um, extremely windy commute in this morning, or afternoon, I should say. Um, yeah, trying to try it up a little higher right now. Hopefully it doesn't look quite as weird like you're lying on the ground watching me. Um, anyway, today's question comes to you from the one and only patron extraordinaire and vinyl crate digger, Ian DeRosier. Ian, thank you so much for not only showing us your awesome vinyl videos and your fantastic Quebecois accent, but um, thanks for suggesting today's question to ponder is, so you, or I guess in this case me, are made the manager of the new original Deep Purple lineup, a, a, a recombining of forces to create a new Deep Purple. Um, I had a few follow-up questions to ask, like, does this include just making new material? Does it include um, performing all the old stuff? And according to Ian, both. So uh, since it's both, I have two potential lineups for you. And what I'm going to go with is a classic uh, classic lineup and then a lineup uh, what I would call technical players or, or not necessarily just technical, but some of my favorite players just to see kind of what they'd make of it. So going with the classic lineup, starting with drums, who's going to replace Pacey? Well, my vote is with Simon Phillips, who, if you listen, you know that Martin Ford has called the greatest drummer on the planet. It's hard to disagree with that. Bet on some of our, uh, played on some of our favorite stuff, including David Coverdale's White Snake album. Uh, fantastic drummer, really solid, and just has a great groove. So I think he'd be a great, uh, great start to the lineup. On bass, ooh, I'm gonna have to go with Sausage Fingers himself, Mr. Mo Foster. Um, a little bit more, for lack of a better word, busy than Glover or Hughes, but just a fantastic player, doing some nice little, probably having some nice little funky additions to add to the to the bass line, but, but one of my all-time favorite bass players, Mo Foster, I think he'll, he'd be great. Guitar, oh, this is a tough one, but I have to go with someone who I have often uh, claimed is, is very similar in style, although he does branch out a bit, similar in style to Mr. Richie Blackmore, and that's going to be Albert Lee, who um, we've, we've heard play with Richie on the Green Bullfrog, and who is just a really, really great guitar player, captures some of that style, comes from the same school of playing as Richie, so uh, that's who I'm going with in, in guitar. Um, Oregon is the one I struggled with the most, or keys, uh, but I'm going to have to go with someone who was not necessarily going to be the first on most people's uh, mind of amazing Hammond players, but one of my favorite players, uh, going with someone not quite so proggy, going with someone who's going to be a little bit more bluesy, and that's Eddie Harden, um, who unfortunately has passed, but, um, you know, if we're doing a dream lineup, why not, why not uh, use people who have passed on? Uh, Eddie Harden, love his playing, he's such a great organ player, so that's who I'm picking to replace John Lord. And then the coveted vocal spot of who's going to be able to do Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 4, and on. Well, my pick is John Lawton. Uh, absolutely phenomenal singer. Uriah Heep, Lucifer's friend. Um, Butterfly Ball. I think he's just got the pipes. He, su he delivers such an amazing, consistent performance. I think he'd be phenomenal in that spot. And then as a secondary kind of honorary mention, I would say Johnny Gustafson would be incredible. Uh, as someone to, to sing those parts, someone with an incredible voice. So that's my classic lineup. Phillips, uh, Foster, Lee, Harden, and rounding it up with Lawton slash Gustafson. Okay, technical or more kind of virtuosi, virtuosi, virtuoso kind of lineup. And drums, Mike Portnoy. Need I say more? Uh, we, we've seen on his Dream Theater performance of Made in Japan that he can capture the Ian Pace um, style 
and swing and, and groove perfectly. Not to mention the fact he's just one of the greatest drummers on the planet. Um, on bass, going a little outside the box, Leland Sklar, who, you know, is... I, I, I feel he's not, you know, you necessarily a virtuoso bass player and that he's not somebody like a Stu Hamm or a Victor Wooten or something or Billy Sheehan, but he is somebody that's super solid and I think could lie down a, a really good or lay down a really good foundation. Um, guitar, uh, if you've been following along, you know, probably my favorite guitarist, Guthrie Govan, um, somebody who can do anything. Um, but is not just a, a shredder who's doing sweep arpeggios for 45 minutes. Someone who has an incredible, incredible amount of feel, a amount of soul and passion in what he's playing. Um, I, th I think he, I would love to hear what he would do uh, in any band. Um, keys, my favorite keyboardist at the moment, Domi Degal. Uh, she is absolutely incredible, phenomenal uh, keyboardist. Uh, been following her for a few years since she was 17 and, and <laughs> absolutely outdoing almost anybody um, at that age. Now she's the, well, I don't know, the ripe old age of maybe 20 um, and just phenomenal player. Um, a lot of very interesting and innovative stuff in, in what she does. And then rounding it up in this lineup, lead singer of the technical my technical second lineup, Corey Glover. I just I love Corey Glover. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal singer. Uh, and uh, hearing you know what he what he did with Living Color, and then just um, also if you if you heard his performance as Judas in in um, Jesus Christ Superstar, absolutely incredible. I think Corey Glover would would be uh, an awesome roundup for that lineup. So there you go, two offerings for you, Ian. See, you asked for a simple thing and I over-delivered, as I often do, um, usually to my detriment. Um, hopefully this, I don't like this format of the vertical, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, this is where I could kind of stick it on my air vent uh, as I drive in on this incredibly dreary Sunday afternoon. With very few people on the road, very windy. I uh, hope you're all staying really safe and sane in the current uh, environment. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.